Good evening. Uh, as the county engineer, um, I mainly deal with the roads and bridges in the county by Ohio statute. That's my responsibility. But also under that guise, we do assist the county commissioners uh, when they have drainage needs. Um, as far as providing them technical advice, uh, giving them ideas of what can be done. We also work closely almost as a contractor with the commissioners when they do have money available to help them with design, uh, to help them with construction by doing small off-road drainage projects. By statute, the money that comes into the county engineer's office through your gasoline tax, your license plate fees, which are how they're funded, can typically only be used for the roads and bridges within the county. So when we do work for the commissioners, that money is funded out of the general fund through money that they set aside for those types of projects. And as Mike mentioned earlier, back in 2008, there was a million dollars in that number because of other budget constraints, that number has continually dropped off to almost nothing in 2012. Um, Zimber Ditch, you all lived it. I can't tell you what you lived because I haven't experienced it. Um, last year was a terrible year, and thank God so far this year, things have worked out. Uh, but last year brought Zimber Ditch back to the forefront that, that things needed to be done. There was a study done back in 1997 with the commissioners, Plain Township, Jackson Township, Lake Township, the city of North Canton funded. Uh, they brought a consultant in. They studied the Zimber Ditch. Out of that study came recommendations. A good number of those recommendations from that 97 report have been completed. Uh, that included building two detention basins up in the northern, uh, north and north Canton here, one up off of Mount Pleasant, one up off of Highland Park. Uh, we've also, with that money, uh, with money that became available, have replaced and upsized several of the large culverts under Apple Grove, under Everhart, Shufel, uh, so on and so forth, to make water flow a little better. Um, where we're at now, uh, nobody wants to hear the word study and study something to death and study gets you nowhere other than recommendations at the end of the day. But where we're at now uh, is we recently, at the request of the mayor and city engineer Jim Benicus and council, uh, we had a meeting uh, with representatives from the city, our office, the commissioner's office, um, Plain Township was present, as well as, uh, I think that was it, at that meeting. Um, we got together here in, in council or in uh, city uh, offices to discuss what can we do currently. Um, we know things can be done. People want to see uh, action. Um, what we're in the process of uh, is, and we've not talked to everybody, uh, we're in the process of talking to Jackson Township as well as Lake Township. We're trying to put together a, a pot of money from all the entities that are involved, including the county, to try to come up with projects that we can take to construction. Uh, we put together a list of six projects that could potentially help the situation. By no means these six projects are going to eliminate flood. Uh, the hope is that they minimize flood. Uh, the floodplain will remain the floodplain, uh, as it was determined and expanded, as you guys know, last year. When FEMA came out with their maps, that area has grown. The flood level is going up. The area that it uh, affected has grown in size from when the last time the federal government did that. So we're trying to be proactive, trying to get a list of five projects together, bring all the entities together, put a pot of money in so that design can start on several of those projects, and try to determine which ones we feel um, we can do least expensively and give us the best bang for our buck. Yes. Uh, Mr. Bennett, can you clarify the, the, the phases? We normally do the study. Yes. And then we design. Now when you're designing, that you take the information from the study and now you actually start drawing the detention basins, identifying the locations. Right. And, and things have changed significantly too on that, that front. Uh, but yeah, the study's done. We've done most of the stuff that was in the 97 study. We've seen how those recommendations as they were designed and built have changed, changed the, the dynamics of the Zimber Ditch Basin. 
We also then start looking, okay, we've got land here we can look at, or we can look at this section of ditch. Uh, some of the projects we're talking about are maybe expanding the two basins that were built back in, what was it, Joe, 2006. Uh, expanding them, making them larger to hold back more water and choking down how that water exits those two basins. We're also looking at potential sites for adding additional detention that could alleviate some of the problems here in North Carolina. But we're also looking at maybe doing some things downstream just outside of North Canton where the Zimber Ditch parallels the railroad, trying to potentially look at cleaning that ditch up to a degree, getting the vegetation out, maybe going to a two-level ditch that as the water comes up, uh, you've got more room to take that water. Of course, since 1997, environmental regulations have blossomed. Engineers' hands are often tied now more by uh, the Ohio Department of Natural Resources or the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers or, or the Ohio EPA of what we are allowed to do. Uh, so as part of this process moving forward, we're looking at trying to design and permit now. And permit, that means going through the hoops that we have to, to make the OEPA happy and to make the U.S. Army Corps. That takes money as well because the permitting process oftentimes can be more time consuming and costly than the actual design of the uh, improvements themselves. So we're trying to, this group is trying to get together now. We, we, we are in the process of trying to talk to Jackson Township, Lake Township. I think the commissioners have committed to funding some of this design as has Plain Township and the city of North Canton. So if we can bring those entities together, we can start moving forward into looking at getting some shovels in the ground and trying to put some other detention in to maybe alleviate some of those problems. On another note, uh, I think it was about a month ago, uh, Boris Slogar, who is a, the engineer for the Muskingum Watershed Conservancy District, um, came in and made a presentation uh, to the commissioners at one of their work sessions to discuss uh, a program that he's looking into. Uh, the Muskingum watershed, of which the Zimber Ditch is one of the upper reaches to, uh, has U.S. Army Corps of Engineer money available to study the drainage area. Really no, I, I know. And trust me. That's why, that's why I want to let you know that we're looking at things we can do in the short term to try to alleviate things. But what Boris said in, uh, in his presentation to the county, that using this federal money to study other areas or what can be done up here. Um, once that study's done, those projects, because they've been studied by the federal government themselves, become more readily available to federal funds to help improve some of those things. Is that correct, Mike? Yes. Uh, it's correct, and you have to, you have to take it into account, as you know better. Than yes. Me. The entire drainage system of the county. Right. All flowing toward the Bobber Dam. Yes. So, Muskingum Watershed Conservancy District is going down that route, trying to see if they can get this up the Zimber Ditch in the upper reach of the, actually even more than that in Stark County. It may even uh, involve portions of uh, the New Michelin Creek over in the Louisville area. So that'll be happening, but we felt it was important enough, though, to start looking at specific projects. So there's basically a two-pronged approach now. We're looking at the short term and then eventually the long term that maybe we can do some bigger stuff with federal funds uh, if they become available. That's the one problem with drainage, that there's funny mechanisms out there for water line replacement. There's funny mechanisms out there for sanitary sewer replacements. Drainage as a whole has been neglected at the state and federal level as far as to try to get money to fix problems like the Zimber Ditch. That's basically where we stand right now. We want to keep this small committee of playing Jackson Lake, North Camp commissioners moving to try to start getting something in the small term to help maybe alleviate some flooding in some of these areas in North Camp. So, yes. uh, really, uh, locally, we're ahead of where the federal government would be at as far as a role in funding because they're not going to commit any funds to relieving. Uh, flooding unless they go through their process of right. studying and then design yeah. and then hopefully we get money for construction yes. that will. Okay. 
That's the, that's my understanding of this process. The, the federal, the, the U.S. Army Corps of an Engineer process, they would study it. They would look for larger scale retention or where things might work or improvements. Once they've done their study, then funding would trickle down to the point that they could then go ahead and do some design and then possibly some construction. But we don't want to wait. You know how yeah, the federal yeah. government is, that, that's a 10, 12 year process. 